My name is David Lobel and I'm an agricultural ecologist at Stanford University. I probably am the least likely person in the world to be in agriculture. I, I grew up outside of New York City, didn't know anything about agriculture. I think the biggest field I ever saw growing up was going to a Mets game at Shea Stadium. But um, when I was in college, I think I, I started reading and took some courses and became really just interested in agriculture. And then as a graduate student, I got into the field and that really inspired me. I'm interested in how to feed a world that has seven billion people and more and how to do that in an as environmentally friendly way as possible. And there are millions of theories about how to do that and what we're really interested in is trying to figure out what actually works or what's likely to work. Uh, we can derive lots of different things from satellites these days. There's national and, and even state or county level statistics that are kept in, in most countries about agriculture going back 50 or more years. And then there's lots of uh, just experiments that people have done in different parts of the world. We can use all of that information in combination with data about weather, data about soils and, and management, and get a pretty good idea of, of how these factors that we care about are, are affecting agriculture. And, and we're trying to put together those data sets and ask the questions that people have. Well, we look at different aspects of agriculture. One of the aspects we've looked a lot into recently has been climate change. And for example, in the case of wheat, which is the most widely grown crop in the world, we've seen a few things. One is that most places in the world growing wheat have seen remarkable amounts of warming in the last two decades or three decades. That an average growing season now is similar to the warmest growing season 30 years ago. I think of it often as I'm sort of playing catcher in a baseball game where I can give them a good target, they, they know how to hit that target if they know where the target is. And I think one of the things we've been pointing out is that if you're aiming at the target, which was the climate of 20 or 30 years ago, you might not be doing very well if, if that's shifting. And so it's really a matter of, of working together to figure out that you have the goal right and then you use every tool in your toolbox to get to that goal. This award does give you a freedom that even you know a university job um, may not give you, and I'm, and I'm still thinking through that and understanding what really can I do now, what would really um, make me a more, say, creative and, and uh, important, doing more important work uh, that I couldn't do before.